GT Cars on circuit. Welcome to Macau 2020, everybody. I know that these, for many people watching around the world, are a firm favourite in the timetable. The Macau GT Cup. This year in 2020, is very much a celebration of the excellence of motorsport of this region of the world. And we've got a bit of information to give you as the cars make their way out onto the circuit to form up on the grid. Qualification race yesterday finished up in the stewards' room, and I've got an official uh, a piece of paper from the press room at Macau, which says that uh, after an investigation yesterday, the uh, stewards received a protest and car 95, Daryl O'Young, they exam examined the video evidence and heard from the competitors, representative and drivers. Um, what they were investigating was that during the formation lap, the driver did not maintain the distance in between cars side by side, at least one car width apart. Now, while the qualification race was happening, which due to uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, delays that we had yesterday afternoon, was happening in really quite diminishing light at around about half past five in the afternoon. So the race was cut short anyway short to five laps in total. Darrell O'Young won the race, i.e. he stood on the top step of the podium and, uh, and had the chequered flag first. However, throughout the race there had been an indication on the screen that there was going to be an investigation into the start. So we didn't know what that was. We were waiting to see what that was. Clearly, that was what it was. And they decided, the stewards, that uh, there would be a drive-through penalty, but because it was post-race, that would be converted into a 30-second penalty. So, Darrell O'Young not winning the qualification race, and therefore, where does that put him in the overall results of the race from yesterday? Down in 11th place once 30 seconds of penalty are applied. So, you can be sure of one thing. Somebody that has been dominant throughout this weekend, the hugely experienced number 95, Daryl O'Young, in his Kraft Bamboo Racing Mercedes AMG GT3 car, will be making up places during this race. He needs to, because he's down there on the grid in 11th place. It means that the way the grid will line up, we'll see... On pole position, the car that finished up uh, second at the checkered flag yesterday, number 33, and that will be Ye Hong Lee in the Toro Racing Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo, alongside the Audi, which finished up on the third step of the podium, but after the penalty applied, second in the qualification race, number 28, Chan Wei-an. So Mercedes and Audi will line up on the front row of the grid. In recent years, this race has been the uh, very impressive FIA GT World Cup. This year, it is the Macau GT Cup, which has been since its inception in 2008. Darren O'Young won that uh, inaugural race back in 2008. Will he win the Macau GT Cup today from 11th place on the grid? They're huge, powerful cars around the gear circuit. Overtaking is not simple, and that is a fairly huge mountain to climb. But we'll see if Darrell O'Young is up to the challenge. David Chen's car we're looking at there, the number 28 car on the front row of the grid and uh, David Chen on the outside of the front row of the grid because on pole position is the number 33 car and that's the car finished up on the podium yesterday of Ye Heng Long Ye Heng Lee beg your pardon in the GC3 Evo number 33 car but uh, assumes the race win 
for the qualification race. See the umbrellas coming out on circuit. Don't worry, it's not about to uh, not about to rain. Not by uh, a long way. Very nice day at Macau. 27 degrees, sunshine, blue skies, and keeping the sunshine off is the reason for the umbrellas. What a collection of supercars we have for the Macau GT Cup. And how many have we got? A very, very impressive grid. 25 cars in total. For many people, this is the highlight race of a race weekend at uh, Macau. We've taken you through the front row of the grid. Car 38, Marchi Lee. Marchi Lee in the Audi Sport Asia Team X-Works Audi R8. Car fully closed up and uh, not getting air into the car before the race gets underway. Min Hang in his Mercedes GT3 Evo. Car 66 next on the grid. Number nine is next, that Sang Can in his Mercedes. Mercedes certainly the uh, predominant car on the grid for 2020 in the Macau GT Cup. Alongside the number 36 car of Billy Lowe from Macau. Local driver electing to get as much fresh air as is possible before the start of the race. These cars will get incredibly warm in these conditions today. Bay Serling in the Lamborghini Huracan. Very distinctive livery on the lime green grid motorsport car. Alongside the number three car of Liu Let Car. Craft Bamboo. Mercedes AMG GT3 car. Walking back on the grid to see another Mercedes, number eight this time. Yo Liang Bo in the Team Kinetic Racing uh, Mercedes AMG GT3 car. Alongside the number five car of Chris Chart in the GT4 Mercedes number five. Super livery on that car. It's a super hotel in Macau as well, the MGM. Number 95, Darrell O'Young. He's got quite a race to look forward to over 12 laps at Macau. Won the race yesterday and then dropped 11 places back in the stewards room. Conversations happening between last night and today as well. It's only mid-morning this morning that that uh, result came through. We were just looking at Brian Lee in his uh, Mercedes GT4 car, now looking at the 68 car of Lou JY in the Lamborghini Huracan. See how busy the grid is before the Macau GT race. The Macau GT Cup, quite splendid collection of mouth-watering cars confirmation of the grid the front row 33 yeah Hong Lee alongside the number 28 car of Chan Wei An right the way down the order until you get to a car that had really been the pace setter for the entire duration of this weekend Darrell o Young start down there on the sixth row of the grid in car number 95. So drama doesn't always take place on the circuit at Macau. Sometimes it takes place in the stewards room as well. And uh, We've got Mercedes, Lotus, BMW, Lamborghini and McLaren represented here at uh, Macau. I'm sure you'd agree. The cars we dream of represented on the grid. A 12 lap race 
in prospect. I think the grid is beginning to be cleared. Very busy grid, that's for sure. And I also have a small update if you were watching the Macau gear race from earlier on. Marshing Hua was uh, checked over by the medics and I'm very pleased to say that he was checked over and is declared to be absolutely fine, which is very, very good news indeed. Another incident to uh, uh, report on as information comes in was the incident that uh, caused the race to be, in the end, uh, stopped and not resumed. Accident between Yang Shi and Oi Fan. They were both being checked over on the uh, on the circuit. And any information that we get about the uh, well-being of those drivers will bring to you as well. So, all the glamour that surrounds the Macau GT Cup on display, the vibrant, colourful grid for the race unfolding around the world. And it's the final race before we begin the build-up to the Formula 4 Macau Grand Prix. Just getting news in as well. There is annually a special event before the um, final race of the afternoon. The big one, the Macau Grand Prix. And the special event is very often when local drivers, local motoring enthusiasts are able to display their prides and joys around the gear circuit at Macau. And unfortunately, due to the time already that we have lost here in the race programme, the special event has had to be cancelled. So we will move from the Macau GT Cup into the build-up for the big one, the Formula 4 Macau Grand Prix. The Lion Dance ahead of the Grand Prix certainly will not be cancelled very much part of the event all goes to make you absolutely certain you could be in no other part of the world than Macau Billy Lowe about to get into his car the car was dropped down a little early there not sure he'll be too happy about that and while posing for a photograph they do when you drop a car down off the uh, the air jacks they do come down pretty brisk beautiful sunshine at Macau these heavy tyre trolleys are wheeled off the various team personnel and the glamour of the grid at the Macau Grand Prix heads uh, through the gate into the paddock and the pit lane for the teams and then the just the single member of the team directly involved in uh, the starting of the cars will be left on the grid to get this race underway so the story of this race is going to be very much watching Darrell O Young who has been the pace setter thus far over the course of three days for the 2020 Macau Grand Prix. Free practice, he was setting the pace. He was the inaugural winner of the GT race here at Macau in 2008. He won the race yesterday, the qualification race, over eight laps, but was deemed to have infringed the rules on the formation lap, of all things. And the stewards decided that uh, the penalty for that was going to be a drive-through penalty while well, the race had already finished. So therefore, 30 seconds was deemed to be the corresponding time penalty. And the resultant grid drop down to 11th on the grid. That's Wong Kwai Wah having a final word with the world. 
and the TV cameras as the TV cameras are in a moment given the word to leave the grid but another chance for Wong Kwai Wah to look down the, the lens David Chen Chen Wayan on the outside of the front row of the grid alongside the number 33 car finished on track second yesterday therefore assumes pole position and the win for the race yesterday and Ye Hong Lee in the GT3 Evo on pole position that's the 38 car of Marchie Lee starts third on the grid and the final countdown now to get the engines fired up a glorious glorious noise these cars around the gear circuit at Macau chance for a final wave for Lu Ju Wei the Lamborghini Huracan fantastic cars on the grid for the Macau GT Cup heat will be an issue for tyres, brakes it was at 9 o'clock this morning for the first of our races today which was the Macau Touring Car Cup as the temperature has gone up as the day has gone on temperature will become more of an issue to deal with not least in the cockpit of the cars themselves but uh, we are blessed with a quite wonderful grid of supercars of various gantry two minutes to go become one and the BMW will lead the field around on the formation lap ahead of a 12 lap race for the Macau GT Cup off goes the BMW and the rest will follow I'm sure they will all now be very aware of the rules of essentially social distancing at the uh, formation man Darrell O'Young deemed to be too close side by side with other cars on the formation lap so therefore won't want to make the same mistake again BMW leads them around then the two the BMW safety car this year BMW providing all the official cars of the 2020 Macau Grand Prix and the Mercedes on pole position of Yeah Hong Lee Toro Racing Mercedes AMG 33 it's 28 years old Formula Renault 2 litre Euro cut back in 2014 uh, did the Formula 3 Macau Grand Prix 2016. He's been racing in Japanese Formula 3, GT World Asia, China Touring Car Championship this year, China Endurance Championship, and uh, this the debut this weekend for Yeah on Lee in the Macau GT Cup. So you can see the legacy of one of our accidents during the Macau gear race, the uh, fluid having been dressed down at Lisboa, fairly regular operation as soon as fluid comes, uh, comes down, they're able to dress it, the specific agent that will deal with the fluid, and uh, then if they get the chance, they get a chance to uh, sweep up that which is put down and uh, certainly very quickly makes the uh, circuit that much more raceable. So the formation that for the Macau GT Cup. Pick your winner, everybody. Whoever you are cheering on, be it a driver or a mark, there are plenty to choose from. In total, 25 cars on the grid. 
for the Macau GT Cup. And what a fantastic sight they make. Big cars, powerful cars. I mean, they get onto the tight and twisty mountain section of the circuit. They do just look so impressive. Huge talent required to inch perfectly control the cars to avoid those inviting barriers in Macau, black and yellow, right the way around the circuit. Donna Maria is where they are now, the left-hander. Up, up towards the Melco hairpin, actually down towards the Melco hairpin. And the final sector of the circuit. Once they get through Melco, and you can see with the big GT3 cars, it's not the work of a moment to negotiate the no overtaking Melco hairpin down to Black Sands. Fisherman's Bend is a very challenging and quick and impressive corner. The penultimate corner on the circuit, final weaving of the cars to get heat into the tyres. That is Darrell O'Young. We'll be keeping a good eye on Darrell, starting down in 11th place. Needs to make up places and make them up early as well. Does Darrell O'Young, BMW, keeping the cars in order up towards the final turn, our bend and to get the race underway. BMW will peel off. We're about to get the Macau GT Cup race underway around our bend, up towards the starting gantry, over the grid slots, up towards the line, and we'll get racing underway. Pole position, the number 33 car of Ye Hon Lee, and they're racing at Macau. Lights go out uh, for pole position. Yeah, Hong Lee gets a good start, slots in in the front of the field, ahead of the car of David Chen from the outside of the front row of the group. Mark Chi Lee there in third place, through Mandarin, down towards Liz Blower, kicking up the dust that dressed the accident we had earlier in the touring car race through this bar and oh, only just got through and that was Dan Can getting it wrong on the turn into this bar and very very lucky not to scrape the tyre wall on the outside of the corner of this bar that was um, inch perfect we try not to do that again good bit of daylight now already for the race leader for Ye Hong Lee Number 33, GT3 Evo car. Lovely sound from these cars. And it echoes around the circuit here at Macau. Unfortunately, we already have one car which has hit the barrier. Driver out of the car, which is uh, very good news. Walking away at your race leader. Number 33, the race leading car, the Toro Racing Mercedes AMG. Safety car being deployed for the recovery of the stricken car on circuit. So everyone comes down to a more sedate pace as the BMW safety car is deployed. How many places did Daryl O. Young manage to make up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven places made up. So, safety car deployed. So, up to seventh place for Daryl O. Young. I think I said he made up seven places. No, he didn't. He made it up to seventh place your race leader up towards the start line picking up the safety car in due course around turn one and uh, the BMW will be there to pick up the field 
will come through, avoiding the car, which has made contact with the barrier over on the left-hand side of the circuit. BMW is the follower leader. And uh, indicating to the field to keep well over to the right-hand side of the track and uh, avoid the uh, recovery that's going to be required. The course workers here at Macau very adept at dealing with uh, the recovery of a car. They can uh, really get this job done pretty quickly if there aren't any complications of circuit furniture like we had during the um, significant incidents in the gear race, the touring car race that we've just had at Macau where um, circuit furniture was damaged pretty heavily. So Dono Young getting up to seventh place on the opening lap. Just being confirmed there on the screen. Confirmation of the order as well. They are behind safety car. And this race. Very early days for Dono Young. Did a good job to make up so many places on the opening lap. And that's the thing, to make up those places earlier on, to not allow the leaders to get away. That's when the job becomes insurmountable. Happened to Eduardo Matara a couple of years ago. Not able to make the places up, and then it becomes uh, an unenjoyable race. Watching the leaders off into the distance and... Uh, really not able to do anything about it. So the field in the Macau GT Cup race here at Macau. Threading their way up through the technical mountain section of the circuit. Marchi Lee from Hong Kong, China, 44 years old. As so many of the drivers in GT Cup has experienced um, early on with the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, which has uh, been a great proving, proving ground uh, across the world for uh, drivers in GT cars. And going on to multiple years for Marchie Lee, Audi R8 LMS Cup, which he won. 2012. So, uh, number 88, Lotus Exige of Low Pack U. The 778 Autosport car is lifted onto the recovery vehicle and the BMW safety car leads the field down from the Belco hairpin on the run towards Fisherman's Bend. The one thing that you uh, only manage to uh, realise when you're actually on the side of the cow is just when you sort of the senses this event is the beautiful noises incredibly loud echoing around the the walls and the shops and businesses around the circuit of Macau 7.30 in the morning is historically on Saturday everybody's alarm clock because the motorcycles go out and uh, the noise around the streets of Macau echoes out. If you're hoping for a lion on the Friday of Macau, or the uh, Saturday of Macau when they also have a warm-up, think again. Incredibly noisy and a wonderful, wonderful sound. So the Lotus on the back of the recovery vehicle and 
as the cars weave their way across the tarmac, trying to maintain that temperature in the tyres. Keep looking to see if um, we've got up to the magical 30s on the uh, ambient temperature here at Macau. That was in the weather forecast. It still says 27. I don't believe them. It looks very warm, and when you see the drivers in the press conference after the race, you see just how hot they've got in the uh, cockpit of the car. It's not surprising. Very, very warm indeed. And this is where the drivers will notice just how hot it gets. It's when they're going slowly. It's when they notice it. Slow or stop, they feel the heat when they're at race pace, they haven't got time to think about temperature, they just press on. Which is what they're doing now behind the BMW the 2 safety car. Behind the safety car they will continue to uh, tick off the laps. So the laps continue. Tire screen as well, all part of the assault of the senses that is the Macau Grand Prix weekend. So lucky to have this event staged in 2020. A wonderful celebration of motorsports in this part of the world and an opportunity for more local drivers, drivers of the region, to be on the world stage and to shine and to show their talents, expertise around the world. So, the leader, Ye Hong Lee, in the Toro Racing Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo. Third time through Donna Maria, down towards the Melco hairpin. Another lap under safety car conditions is soon to be completed into the full sector on the timing screens. The order, as you can see, the 33 car of Ye Hong Lee from the number 38 car of Marchi Lee. 66 car in third place. Min Heng. 28 car in fourth place. David Chen. Fifth place, the number nine car, Tsang Kan. And safety car due to come in this lap. So, final opportunity to weave the cars, get a bit of heat into the tyre, get ready for the restart. The BMW pulls off into pit lane and the race is back underway for the Macau GT Cup. Uh, race leader gets a good restart as well. So, yeah, Hong Lee gets the power down first of all. But what of the restart for Darlow Young? Still there in seventh place, so not able to capitalise on the restart. But uh, having a look at the back of the Lamborghini, who in turn is looking to make up a place on the Mercedes number nine of Tank Can. But uh, as they come down towards Lisboa, under pressure is the 76 car, 66 car of Min Hang through Lisboa. And Darlo Young is through San Francisco now onto the mountain section of the gear circuit here at Macau. Welcome along everyone, wherever you're watching, this is the unmistakable sight and sound of Macau and the GT, Macau GT Cup and unfortunately that beautiful MGM liveried uh, Mercedes, the number 21 car of Wang Hao doing a typical Lisboa moment, missing the turn in. And sadly, there is an escape road there. If you uh, decide not to make the corner early enough, 
you can just use the escape road and avoid the collision that we've just seen. Great shame that, but it won't take too long to rectify things down at Lisboa. Keep the race going. Marchi Lee in second place, pursuing the number 33 car that leads the race of Pierre Hong Lee. Down towards the Melco hairpin. Over to the bus stop on the left-hand side of the circuit, using all the track. You need all the track in these big GT cars on the exit of the corner. A good flowing exit to the corner can not only finish this lap off nicely, but also sets up for a good next lap. See that in qualifying. Darrow Young having to be brave, having a look down on the inside. Very, very quick part of the circuit. Sang can that uh, Darrell Young is looking to make the place up on and does so now. So uh, Darrell Young bravely having a look at uh, Fisherman's Bend, setting the manoeuvre up, and by the end of the lap has completed the manoeuvre. So Darrell Young up into fifth place from 11th on the grid. That's the race leader, car 33, Pierre Hong Lee. Wave yellow flags indicating it's still the Mercedes that we have down there. As Darlow Young now has clear track, and time to make up to get onto the back of the fourth place car, which is the 28 car of Chet Wayan. Again, up through the mountain section for the race leader. Down to the left-hander of maternity. Have to be so itch-perfect on this part of the gear circuit at Macau. Wall on one side, barrier on the other. Need to keep it neat, tidy. And place the car inch perfectly which at the moment as they go through police up towards Moorish is what the race leader Pierre Hong Lee in the Mercedes is able to produce second to Darren O'Young on track yesterday so the 66 car of Min Heng in third place with Number 28, just behind Che Wayan. They all bunch up together. The battle for second place. The third place down through the corner. And yeah, Hong Lee. Four laps in the book in this 12 lap race. Eight laps remain for the 2020. Macau GT Cup, Darrell O'Young looking at the back of the 28 car of Che Wayan in fourth place. Didn't take long to catch up to the back of the Audi Sport Asia team, Audi R8. And now Darrell O'Young is looking very menacing indeed. Needs to pick the place. In turn, there's a question of attack and defence for the 28 car of Che Wayan, looking at taking a place away from Min Hang, and does so. And by San Francisco, Darrell Young has done it as well. So, what a super opportunistic moment for Che Wayan. And Darrell Young makes the most of the door being opened as well. The a loser in all of that, Min Hang. So, the two of them, that manoeuvre completed, beautiful at Lisboa. No other opportunity than to hit the brakes and avoid a collision for Min Hang. But unfortunately, uh, Darrell O'Young was right there, an opportunistic, very much the name of the game for Darrell O'Young. The door open, thanks very much. I'll take that one as well.
Now, having made the manoeuvre stick for Che Wayan in car 28, he's now got Darrell O'Young absolutely tied to the back of the car towards the Melco hairpin down to Melco through the corner. Lap about to be um, completed, and that will put them on to the second half of this 12 lap race. And Darrell O'Young, really quite a menacing presence behind the car of Chan Wei An. Fourth place, fifth place, as they go through across the line. To complete now six laps, half distance, Chen Wei-An up into third place after that manoeuvre on Min Hang. Darrell O'Young through in fourth place, just shy of the podium positions. And Chen Wei-An is now going to have to keep this so neat, so tidy, and not make a single error to allow the door to be open for a... Recovery drive from Darlo Young after the 11th place drop on the grid after being first on track yesterday in the qualification race. Darlo Young is keeping right on the tail. Chan Wei An. They twist their way through the the maze of walls and barriers that typify the gear circuit here at Macau. First time in a little while we've been back to look at the leader. Why? Because he's in splendid isolation at the front of the field. And the 33 car of Ye Hong, Ye Hong Li continues on his way, not under pressure. He can pick the perfect line, keep it neat, keep it tidy, get some flow to the race. Marchi Lee in second place, meanwhile, can see very large in his mirrors this battle for third with Chen Wayan and Darrell O'Young closing the gap in their defence and attack of their own battle closing in on the second place car, the 38 car of Archie Lee, the Audi R8, R8 LMS car, Darrell O'Young has a look, slots in behind, goes through the final turn, seven laps in the book now, Darrell O'Young looking very threatening now as they head down towards turn one at Reservoir, through Reservoir they go, this the incredibly quick run down towards Mandarin and ultimately Lisboa. It's an overtaking opportunity if ever there was one. But uh, Dalo Young seemingly not close enough to the back of Che Wayan, where they both took the opportunistic move to make up a place earlier on. Darrell O'Young has to slot in just behind. Up the hill they go. They climb the mountain together. And so far, Chen Wei-An has kept it perfect. Darrell O'Young was just having a look there. That would have been quite remarkable. Or potentially hoping to force an error, if you like, just by making his presence known. And therefore, opening the door. An error is what he's hoping for at the moment, is Darrell O'Young. But uh, thus far, Che wei -An has kept it very neat, very tidy, and hasn't made that mistake to open the door. Police, the right-hander. Into the corner they go. Quickly on to Moorish. Again, a right-hander. Little wiggle from the 28 car coming out of Moorish 
corner and then on to Donna Maria. Down to the Melco airfield once again, enthralling battle this. Can Darrell O'Young get at the very least onto the podium? Chen Wayan doing uh, everything within the, the tall box of defence to keep it neat and tidy and not make an error and not throw any opportunity to Darrell O'Young. It's great that the, uh, the TV director is keeping with this battle because it is absolutely fascinating to see who's going to blink first in this battle for the final podium position. The recovery drive, which at the moment has come to a pause from 11th place on the grid for Darren O'Young. But uh, we still have four laps to go. Darren O'Young very, very close this time. Pulls out to the left-hand side, having a look down on the outside as they go into this bar. It was uh, really only a sign of intention, I think, going into this bar. And... Chad Wayan in third place, driving beautifully under huge pressure not to make a mistake. Look how close Darrell O'Young is to the back of Chad Wayan's car through Teddy Ip onto the solid GSs. Here the tyres squealing. The ultimate test of human and machine around the gear circuit at Macau. On to police. Through the corner they go. Still two tied together as one. Chan Wayan. Darlow Young. And Donna Maria, the corner. Through the left hander they go once again up towards the Melco hairpin. You can watch this for hours, absolutely fascinating. And it really is a question of who will make a mistake or who will go for a brave maneuver. That's the story that will play out over the next three laps because they are about to complete now. Nine laps in the book. Meanwhile, the race leader, Ye Hong Lee, still out on his own. The advantage uh, at the completion of nine laps over Marchie Lee in second place. Six seconds. So they've both completed nine laps. Now the battle for third and fourth. Chen Wei An leading from Darrell O'Young. That's Marchie Lee in second place. And still no mistake this time. Darrell O'Young is going to get side by side and get round before they get towards Liz Bower. So a change in position. Darrell O'Young worked it out. He planned his manoeuvre. That time was close enough to execute it beautifully by the time they got towards this boa. Jinx out from behind, side by side, on the outside line, but he gets the job done before he gets to this boa, turns in, perfect tight line, and a little bit of a wiggle, having been devoted down to third place for Chan Wayan. So, two and a half laps to go. Up into third place, Darrell O'Young is now in a podium position making up for the devotion down to 11th on the grid for the start of this race. On track, won the race yesterday in the stewards' room. It was decreed. Unfortunately, he would start 11th, and that's unfortunate as well. It is the Mercedes AMG of, I think, Yao Liangbo. And it didn't take too long for Darrell O'Young to close up onto the back of Marchie Lee. A red flag. So, 
A red flag. Race suspended with two laps to go. And we were blessed with a beautiful battle for third place. A uh, credit to both of them. Chan Wei An doing a perfect job of defending from Darrell O'Young. Everyone knows the pedigree of Darrell O'Young, his experience, but uh, Chan Wei An kept it very neat, very tidy. And that is the story, the clout and the bang of the Mercedes. Number eight car of Yao Liang Bo. Team Kinetic Racing Mercedes and the recovery of that vehicle necessitating the, uh, not just the recovery of that vehicle, it's also the stricken Lamborghini, the number 12 of Bay Surly, with Motorsport uh, Lamborghini Hurricane. The car was stopped out on track as well. So I think the combination of the two of them given reason for the red flag to come out and the race to be suspended. However, uh, what we can be very grateful of is that we uh, were able to see that battle and manoeuvre played out without uh, a race interruption and uh, the uh, beautiful manoeuvre by Darrell O'Young. Just getting word that uh, the race will not be resumed. Not surprised about that. Uh, just two laps to go, and uh, we weren't robbed of that battle for the final podium position. Once again, the Mercedes just gets it out of shape, hits nose in, and then you are quite literally a passenger in the car at high speed. It's a, a very high speed part of the circuit, and uh, drivers already invited into Park Fairmate. Great battle that, um, but let's not detract from our race winner. Ye Hong Lee won the race yesterday, but in the stewards room, having come second. Marchie Lee, car 38 in second place. And Darrell O'Young, finally getting that position and huge celebrations great to see down in Park Fairmate yes yes is the cry celebrating with the team see how much a win at Macau means yeah a uh, well deserved thumbs up absolutely super to watch the battle for third place with Darrell O'Young in Park fair, mate. Vehicle on track. Uh, podium will come up in due course. All the drivers uh, are being weighed, of course. A great colour scheme on the MGM back car. Not too far from uh, where we are here. At the uh, the view of the grid to the MGM. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner, number 33, Ye Hong Li from China. Congratulations! <laughs> There's a bit of energy on the and podium. And now we have the honour to invite Mr. Charles Lo, Chairman of Automobile General Association Macau, China, to present the trophies and law. Slightly late onto the podium, the uh, third place, <laughs> but uh, delighted to hold the trophy up in the air and the presentation to second place. I think we might see some celebrations from and our winner. winner. Ye Hong Lee. Ye Hong Lee bows down to receive the garland of victory Congratulations. and, and the winner's ball. trophy at Golden Macau. Year. Thank you, Mr. Low. And thank you to our drivers. Congratulations again.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, our podium for in second place from Chinese Taipei, Li Chengxin, Brian. And the winner, number five, She An, Chris from China. Once again, may I have the honor to invite Mr. Charles Lo, Chairman of Automobile General Association Macau, China, to present the trophies to our winning drivers. First to Huang Hoi Fong, Eric. And then to our second place driver, Li Chengxin from Chinese Taipei. And to our winner, Xie An from China, number five, Chris. Thank you, Mr. Lo. And a group photo. Thank you, Mr. Lo. And congratulations to our drivers again. So that's our podium presentation. First runner-up, number 38, Li Yingqin from Hong Kong, China. And the winner, number 33, Ye Hong Li from China. Congratulations again. And now the national anthem of the winning driver. I'd like to call upon Mr. Charles Lowe, Chairman of Automobile General Association Macau, China, to come forward to present the trophies to our winning drivers. First to Chen Wei An, number 28. Then to Li Yingqin from Hong Kong, China, number 38. And to our winner, Number 33, Ye Hong Li from China. Congratulations. Well done. And now let's have a group photo together. Thank you, Mr. Lo. Our drivers, please stay. And I'd like to call upon the previous winning drivers from the Macau GT Cup from other categories to come forward to the podium. So we have a full podium with and both and sets of this class is the time winners. For the victory champagne shower. Let's see if they will pop the champagne cork. They all get a bottle of Moet, Marity Chandon. And the opportunity to celebrate in style Ooh, on the podium with a champagne shower. Six bottles and a very, very happy winner on the top step of the podium. Yeah, Hong Lee <laughs> showing without any question at all just how much it means to finish on the top the step of the podium Macau at Macau. Cup overall. Thank Macau, you everybody. Macau GT again. Cup podium is complete and the drivers, top three drivers, will make their way over towards the... Uh, press room and the essential press conference which we're hopefully going to be able to bring you